<laughs> Hello all, welcome and welcome back to Lumenta Oracle. Um, thank you for all you do around here. Uh, thank you for your likes, thank you for your subscribes, thank you for when it's a comment box, your comments. Thank you so much for your donations and your super thanks and for booking personals with me. Um, if you have an urge or inkling to do that, that information will be down below. We're going to do um, an update on your person. So let's see what the situation is. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try to speed through this a little bit because I got a date with uh, Maxine. So um, I got to go, you know some dark feminine energy vibes with the with the Maxine movie which I'm really super excited about so yeah so we're gonna do this you know we're gonna see how fast we can do this all right so let's jump to this prayer <sighs> father God mother divine Archangel Michael please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today we only seek messages of your highest vibration messages that you deem for us to receive any ill will or evil eye energy sent away, kindly remove and return the energy back to its rightful owner. Bind them up from their own energy so it can never harm anyone again. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so let's see. Holy Spirit, for my darling collectives, um, show me the energy around my collectives. And this is generally, general, my readings are past, present, or future. So... Only take the resonates and leave behind anything else for anyone else, okay? Um, and yet these are very much journal. Um, so yeah, and I did say this is a love reading, right? For all signs collective. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. So the energy around the person of my collective's mind, Holy Spirit, show me the energy around the person of my collective's mind right here, right now, right here, right now. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. The energy on your person's mind. <laughs> Tender kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So someone is falling in love. This could be someone that you're currently in separation from, who's, ooh, they miss it, you. Tell me why do worlds turn? Down or off. So trying to figure out why do worlds turn? Can we can we bring them back again? They say life is like a circle. Can it come right back around again? This person trying to figure out how I can make it come around again. Because they're experiencing some sadness, thinking about you, yearning, and uncertain of future. So this person feels like they put themselves at a place in which they're uncertain of their future with you. Likely because they could have displayed some narcissistic qualities or they could have been a victim of their surroundings and been around some narcissistic people or kind of fell into a narciss narcissist trap but you know just like we are who we eat kind of vibe it's like the people that we're around sometimes we will reflect those traits you know we will mirror them so it does matter the company in which we keep this person had to learn that or it looks like they had to learn a valuable lesson a valuable lesson as pertained to that because they found themselves caught up in a one-sided relationship is almost like if they were giving the energy of a one-sided dynamic to anyone that's what they picked up that's what they retrieved they put at they, that's what they put out there that was the so they seed that was this what am i saying that was the seed okay what else this is someone that has such an urge to be affectionate with you. So I'm feeling like it's not feeling palm tree and photograph. So it's either something that they miss because it's something that they haven't had or experienced from you in a while or falling in love. This could also be someone that say never really made any investment in this connection and so maybe they're even yearning for someone they never had or experienced at this level or degree i feel like this is someone that's trying to set the situation control issues could have been their problem in the past that could be something that they're working on but i do feel like this is someone that's trying to set a situation up with the palm tree stability security permanence growth 
endurance and flexibility because they want this to be to someone that's tired of like the in and out energy um but they uh, feel responsible for as it pertains to this connection and they looking at your photograph every time you look it makes them laugh like they, they you know missing you but the thing is that nostalgia is like cotton candy like we love it it tastes good but there's only so much cotton candy you get there's only so much cotton candy you can take before you're like i'm either done with this cotton candy or i need something savory or some food food or like you know you're just done right i feel like this person's done with the nostalgia factor of the connection i feel like they've been munching on it for so long it makes them sick sometimes love sick this person's love sick for you i'm hearing um oh i get so lonely can't let just anybody hold me you are the one who lives in me my dear i want no one but you so this person's in a predicament now where you're all they think about if they want kisses they only want them from you they want touches they only want them from you they're looking at your pictures craving and yearning for you they're getting together um their ducks in a row to present the perfect situation <laughs> to plan a perfect situation um what is my collective um holy spirit for my collective Show my collective what this person's intentions are as it pertains to this connection. What is this person's intentions as it pertains to this connection, Holy Spirit? They want to break it down, break it down, break it down. <laughs> I'm still hearing that song. Janet Jackson, I Get Lonely. This is someone that's ascending. So they realize that, okay, well, if it's the collective that I'm yearning like this for... And if that's what they require, because collective set the parameters here. Collective wasn't going to budge on what was required, okay? And so maybe if this person was once once upon a time caught up on their control, as to, to make and it really comes from trauma to to help someone feel secure about a situation, right? But the thing is, like, okay, well, that's what you need to feel secure about the situation. You can't underestimate what someone else needs to secure, to for them to feel secure in a situation. And so, I don't know. Maybe y'all both kind of play bluff. And this is someone that's like, you know what? <laughs> it's not about, tricks are for kids. So it's not about the games. It's about what do I, what can I not live without? It's not about what I can live with, what I can't live without, because this is where the despair comes from, the denial of what it is that we really, truly crave, what really, truly costs to us. So this person that's this person has started this healing journey, and they've been ascending and expanding because they met their match, and someone called the bluff. I don't know. It's almost like the one that they wanted set a certain predicament, set a certain standard and said, you can't treat me like this. You can't move this way with me because I want no one but you because they know you don't want nobody but them. They know it's a mirrored emotion. You are not yearning for nobody but me, and I'm not yearning for nobody but you. But what's love got to do with it, right? If we're misusing each other or misconstruing or misunderstanding each other, maybe we there needs to be a backup. Maybe there needs to be a cut, a, a, a stepping away, right? A breather. Everybody needs a time away. Time to play. Oh, wait, everybody needs some time away. I heard them say from each other <laughs> that Chicago hold me now. 
It's hard for me to say I'm sorry. It's hard for them to say they're sorry, but they want you to know. After all that we've been through, I will make it up to you. I promise to. This person's hell bent. So this is where this is where the ascension comes from. I don't know how long this has gone on with this person, but in that song it says, after all that we've been through, I will make it up to you. I promise to. This is not something that this person ever has to really say to you because those almost like words may mean, may mean not as much right now. It's an action. Look at her floating. It's an action that they plan to show. And this is something you're going to see. I don't say like see in motion. This is something I may be. But I feel like it's just intuitively my illuminators. You're going you're gonna to sense it. You're going to feel it. You're going to see it. You're going to hear it. You're gonna taste it. I don't know. You get all your senses are gonna be lit up. And it's gonna point you in the direction. You're gonna have your, your spiritual team around you, your angels. In the same way, your spiritual team was likely guiding you through this entire process from the very beginning. When they whispered in your ear, right? When they whispered to you, they said, hey, psst. look into that person's eye. It feels good, right? Don't you like the way they look at you? They like the way you look at them. It's almost like y'all are like, it's in the eyes. You can't hide from each other. It's in the eyes. And so nobody could fake the funk when it comes to this kind of feeling that y'all feel for each other these keys on a ring. So this could have been also an issue in the past. Someone could have had many options, um, many coals in the fire. Someone maybe needed to make a decision. Um, yeah, because someone wasn't going to be a string along. That wasn't someone's um, character. No shame. But this is someone that, and this is what they love about you. They love that can't let just anybody hold me. They love how selective you are with your energy, with your body, with your time. They know that just like not anybody can reach you or get to you. Like you may be just, you may just rest in the realm of a mystery to a lot of people that they know. And if they're used to people, if if they're used to having string-alongs, they likely were around a bunch of people that also had string-alongs. So they probably had, you know, people like that, they kind of have networks. So they, they know who be with who. <laughs> like, they kind of know, because a lot of them can share business and stuff like that. You know, it's just murky. That's why you just never want to find yourself in networks like that, right? Just <laughs> be selective. It doesn't pay to, to not be selective. Um, but I feel like for this person... They know that they'll never hear you caught up in something like that. Or that there's not a whole bunch of people that can say, oh, yeah, I had collective and it was like this. They know that they know it was a lie because they know you're just not around like that. They know even how the way people talk about you, that they can see the amount of distance that those people even have ever had toward you because this is your counterpart. So it's like, even if, those other people talk about you, they can instantly tell, oh, this person's not that close to my person because I can just tell in the way they talk about them. This person's, after all, I keep hearing that. After all we've been through, I will make it up to you. I promise to. For some of y'all, this is the next step or this is what they have in mind. This is what they envision. They want to make this right because they see down the line that you are their person. Okay? Union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, ever, everlasting love. Open up your eyes, then you realize everlasting love. Oh, I love that song. Okay. Um, who sings that song? Oh, my goodness.
Everlasting love. What does the person want to say? Um. Yeah, what does the person want to say to my collective? We'll pull a couple of these, and then I'll pull their intentions, and we'll wrap it up there. Okay. I love you unconditionally. Everlasting love. I feel such a joy. This person has a lot of joy about this. Um, for some of y'all, this came in the reverse, you know? Like, I feel like for some of y'all, this is a casual situation or platonic. This was a friend or a co-worker or whatever it was. It was a situation that um, had limitations. This person says they want to be more than friends, all right? Everlasting love. I know I messed up everything. One more. Actually, okay, perfect. Thank you. They're saying, um, you are the best thing in my life. All right. What can my collective expect? Um, as it pertains to this person in the near future, their person, what can my collective expect from their person in the near future? Please and thank you. All right. What can my collective expect? What can my collective expect? Okay. <laughs> so I can't. <laughs> This king, ooh, king of pentacles, someone that's coming in very secure, very confident. Um, it's going to shock you. It's cool. <laughs> this is someone that was hiding a facade of how serious they were about you. They, because they didn't want, they needed to know how serious you were about them, I guess. It's, it really is something that they, with that pentacle earth energy it was something that they just needed to see over time um or something had to happen over time um but <laughs> since it happened over time this could be quite the shocker to you when it rolls through it's gonna come out of nowhere um which is that tower energy but it is that sense of the facades coming down this is what it really is it's the vibe i get um so that's what you can expect from this person and when they roll through, what is their attention? What is their attention for my collective Holy Spirit? Yes. Oh, to let you know like how passionate they are. They want to give you a, a very passionate um, offer, a message, a new beginning about them being um, single and available after a period of um, pulling themselves away and, and resting and recuperating and allowing uh, a no contact, this person feels rejuvenated to me. Yeah, because temperance. And they feel rejuvenated and balanced. This, this um, connection is coming in balanced, getting balanced, because we got justice in the house too. Temperance and justice in the house. They came in back to back back to back okay because this is someone that was in their head this is someone that felt like they had a bunch of things that they felt a responsibility to that they felt stuck to it was like yeah spirit had to come through like i don't know maybe there was a divorce or something there's some sort of splitting of ways and a balancing that allowed someone to be a free agent and so now they're like rolling through very excited and giddy about what they really want. It's like that page of wands, like when you when you decide to pursue your real desire, right? It's like you've been doing all this work and you've been doing all the things that they've been telling you to do, but what you really crave, what you really desire, that passion project, is that that's that page of wands energy, that passion project. It's like this you you are a passion project to this person. Woo! And they want no one but you. Is that a is that a title? You're their passion project. They want to put their passion project into you. That's it. 
Yo, if you look my vibe, please like and subscribe. Until next time, take care of yourselves, my illuminators.